your command, all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile Earth, our island home. Our planet is full of life, plants, animals, and so much more. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see. Only emptiness and darkness, and nothing but nothing. But God was there, and He spoke. God hovered over the deep, silent darkness, and whatever He said came to be. Let there be light. Light shone in the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. You're good, light. You're good, darkness. And they were. I will fill creation with sea and sky. And a great space opened up, wide, deep, and high. Sky is good above. Sea is good below. So God created sea and sky. God filled the cosmos with galaxies and stars. The sun goes here, and the moon goes there. Whizzing into the darkness came fiery planets, and God put them into being. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. God made evening and morning on Earth with the moon and the sun. God saw the universe was good. I have more ideas for Earth. And God created more. He created places for life. I will separate the waters, and I will create deserts, islands, and jungles. And God called all these places land, but the land was bare. These lands are bare. This desert needs cactus. This island needs palm trees. This jungle needs gum trees. And God created more. This cactus needs a budding flower. This island needs plants. This jungle needs vines. God saw the plants and flowers were good, and He created more. Sparrows, eagles, penguins, Ostrich. The birds are beautiful in the sky. Then God spoke again. I will fill my seas. Dolphins, seals, fish, sharks, turtles, penguins. I love the birds of the air and the animals of the sea. But my lands are bare. And then God spoke. Rhino, dinosaurs, alligators, gorillas, ostrich, giraffe. Lions, kangaroos, elephants, camels, lizards, snakes. God loves his creatures and saw they were good, but he wasn't finished. I have birds for the air, fish for the sea, and animals for my lands, but I have one last creature. God's idea was big and in his likeness. His last creation would share everything he made. From the primal elements, God brought forth the human race, giving us reason, memory, and creativity. God created his own children and made Earth their home. I created stars in the sky, fish in the sea, and now I want to fill the land with my children. So God created Adam and Eve and made their home the Garden of Eden. In this place, they were happy, never lonely, sad, or sick. I am finished, and I will rest. After God rested, He shared His creation with Adam and Eve. 
These are my lands. You can play here. You can swim here. You can climb here. Adam and Eve were happy and knew that God loved them. I have one more thing to show you. You can enjoy all you have seen except for this tree. Eve, what is that creature? Oh, remember we named that creature Snake. Doesn't he know that tree is forbidden? Snake, what are you doing? This tree is forbidden. Didn't God tell you that this fruit will make you happy? One bite will make you just like God. You will know everything. I'm not sure, Snake. How do you know? This is the tree of knowledge. The fruit of this tree will make you just like God. Eve wanted to be like God. She had forgotten that she was made in his image, and he had given her everything she would ever need. Adam, I brought you this. A terrible lie has entered my world. It will never leave. It will hurt everything. Adam and Eve were now frightened, and so they hid. Adam? Eve? Hello? Where are you? We're hiding. We are afraid. You hate the fruit. Eve made me. The snake made me. God's perfect creation was now tainted. Hearts would break, creation would groan, and the earth would not be the same. I have made clothing for your backs and food for your bellies. You can no longer live beside me in the garden. In most stories, this would be where we say the end, but not in God's story. I love you. One day, I will do battle against the snake and get rid of the sadness you let in. I will come back for you. And one day he would come back, but not as knight in shining armor, but as a babe born in a manger. He would be the Prince of Peace, our rescuer. He loved the world so much that his love would be found in the glory of the cross. Our rescuer has come and will return.